Before we begin this video, I just want to let you know a tutorial on how to install the homebrew launcher and install CTGP7 will be linked in the description. With that said, enjoy the review. CTGP7 is an amazing ROM hack that includes so much content to this modded version of Mario Kart 7. I'm also a part of the CTGP7 Discord server, and there are many nice people there. This mod also adds mission mode and versus races. But when I first booted up CTGP7, the gold parts as well as mirror mode were not unlocked by default, which I found a bit strange. It includes so many custom characters, however I won't go through all of them. We have Ice Mario, Mr. L, Birdo, Purple Yoshi, Dry Bowser, Sonic, Blue Toad, Dry Bones, Rob, HVC-012, Chain Chomp, Blue Shy Guy, Waluigi, Funky Kong, and Baby Luigi. All these custom characters, in my opinion, are perfect. They are 10 out of 10s. My favourite character, without a doubt, is HBC-012. It makes me want to see characters like King DDD, Mewtwo, and Kamek. To select custom characters, press the select button on the title screen, go to Game Settings, go to Custom Character Manager, and scroll down until you find the custom character you would like to select. When it comes to vehicles, we have quite a lot. We have Arcade, Bandicoot Team, Gold Mantis, and Silver Arrow. And as for custom wheels, we have DS Monster and Blue Monster. When we get to gameplay features, we have CC Selector, where you can choose the speed of um, the races. We have Speedometer, where you can apply a speedometer to the screen. We have Backwards Camera, where you, if you press X, you'll be able to look back. Worn items with LED will cause the LED to flash. Improved item limit um, shows items that you're more likely to get. And improved tricks allow you to gain faster speed with them. We also have change round number, which you change the round number in versus mode. We have custom character manager, which we just covered. We have custom carts, which enable the custom carts mentioned earlier. We have online track order, which you can... I recommend ordering it alphabetically so it's more easier. We also have render optimizations. And finally, we have server settings. In other options, we have local statistics, community code generator, and reset ghost. And finally, we have language options. Let's talk about mission mode. Mission mode is great. It doesn't have bosses, but you get a total of 16 missions to choose from. I'll show you the first one. Alright. Let's do this. There's an improved trick. Awesome. As for custom tracks, there are plenty of solid ones out there that I really approve of, and I never get bored of playing them. DS Doken Course is a beta course from Mario Kart DS. 
It was a course that never made it into the final game. And apparently you can also fall through the green textured ground. Mushroom Mountain is a custom track that has not yet been added into CTGP on the Wii just yet. But I think it has plenty of potential because of how fun it is to play on. We also have Bingo Party from Team Sonic Racing. This track is definitely one of my favourite custom tracks because of how awesome it is. We also have Glacier Mine. This track has many elements here and there that make it reference Wario's Gold Mine. We've also got Seaside Hill from Sonic Heroes. I really like this track. It, it may um, look like another one of those Green Hill tracks, but the catchy music really fits with the stage in my opinion. We also have Frozen Grotto. Now, I'm not sure what exactly makes it a grotto, but because of how short the track is, there's five laps. We also have Rainbow Road DX, where you race on all the Rainbow Roads, starting from the SNES Rainbow Road, all the way to Mario Kart 8's Rainbow Road. Some retro tracks also got some revamps. For example, in DS Bowser Castle, when you get to this section, um, the rotating cylinder is no longer there. Instead, you are treated to a ramp which leads to the underwater section to the left path. And on this path, the moving platforms are absent. However, when you approach lap 2, you will discover that, um, that there's a glider ramp leading to the right path. My favourite Double Dash track, Yoshi Circuit, makes a return as well. And it's the same as how it is on the GameCube, which I really appreciate because it kept the tunnel shortcut. Overall, the variety here is really amazing. Fake item boxes also return, and they also ended up getting a buff. You see, from a distance, the fake item box looks like a normal fake item box, but once you get closer to it, it'll appear a solid red. The bullet bill also seems slightly faster as well. Finally, the blooper got a buff. It makes you slip more, so this means it's really effective on sharp turns. Sometimes, green and red shells will appear as Yoshi eggs. This isn't really game-breaking, but I thought it was still worth mentioning. You can play custom tracks online, but you can disable them by pressing the Y button. Also, the CTWW status allows you to see who's online in CTGP7 CTWW lobbies. If there are less than 5 players in the lobby, um, the CTWW lobbies will throw in some computer players, always filling the room to a total of 5 players. You can even choose to um, quit while spectating or during CTWW races. And in all honesty, I never really have that bad of a time online. So to sum it up, CTGP7 is an amazing Mario Kart 7 ROM hack. It fixes all the problems that Mario Kart 7 has and adds so much more content to it that make it much more fun to play. It's definitely one of my favourite games of all time next to all of these games. It's an incredible mod that makes Mario Kart 7 seem like a perfect game. To me, it scores a 10 out of 10. If you want to play an improved version of Mario Kart 7, I recommend downloading this mod because it's so much fun and I've never gotten bored of it. Thanks for watching this review. It was so much fun to make and this mod is an amazing mod, so I recommend you download it. Anyways, thanks for watching and have a good day.